Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Ben here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your servo on an FTX Outback Ranger 2. Um, so the first thing you want to do is add a plug. Right, just up here, in all these leads. Right, there's this plug. You have to unclip the cable tie. I've already done that. And then there's this plug. So what you then do, this is hard with one hand, so I'll put you back. Uh, is you very gently, gently pull it out. Like so. So now, what you need to do, you need to get a Phillips screwdriver. See my little box. Can't see it. I'm rushing. So just a normal standard full focus. Focus, please. Just standard, standard Phillips screwdriver. Can you see it? Yeah, kind of. So what you do is you unscrew these four and this screw. It's one, two, three, four, five to undo. But an easier way what I figured out is you take the bumper off with two screws, which is one here, one here. So you take the bumper off then you can get to the screws easier. But screwdriver I like to use for that. Just a little bit bigger. So, unscrew this. Hit screw all the way out. Just the way these bumpers work is you take so that's one screw, put it in my safe. This is not the first time I've done this. The last time I took it off differently. But I'll do it this time. This time, this time. Okay, we might see what it looks like without the bumper on. So you take the bumpers off. Well, not the bumpers, just the front one. This isn't getting annoying. Unscrew, please. Second screw. So now, just find the way the measurements are, and just gently pull out, and it should should come out just like that. So now you can see all these screws better. So now what you want to do. So I can unscrew these ones. Is well, I'll screw them. Hands getting in the way a bit there. Lift the camera around so you can see it about. One screw right there. Do this screw. I find it's a bit easier. Right. Uh, and undo these ones. This is gonna be back over here. Oh, the camera's moving a lot. So I can't unscrew stuff. I'm useless. Undo that. That dropped into the bumper. What a helpful catch. 
by the bumper. Keep it safe. Unscrew this one. Like so. And now this bit's going to be something I've never ever done, ever before. So how do you get that? I'm not even going to bother with that. So I'm, the do so I'm doing comes with this bit. This is part number if you want it, if it will focus. It's a... Oh, I can't read that. Just be nice if it would focus. Can you focus, please? There you go. That's the part. Nothing. So, yeah. Um. So now what we want to do is unscrew this bit. You can see where I fixed it before it snapped. Because I'm good at like that. And I snap everything I see. This one needs a smaller screwdriver. And it's not coming undone, so what I'm doing, I'm going to go in my little kit. And I'm using one of these. Like socket thing on the end, and number two in the kit. And if you see, it's got a little small bit on the end. Just put that in there, like so. You have yourself a new cool looking screwdriver thing to undo this. Just like so. See now, what's wrong with this servo is the gears have gone because it's plastic teeth. This new one has metal teeth. So it's going to be a lot better. So, out with the old. And now, open the new one. Let's so it open, just the top off. I'm so organised for these. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you're still watching. Here's new. Oh no, this oh this is a lot heavier. There you go. It's got a lot more weight to it because it's all metal gears. So Man, that's heavy. I'm quite surprised by that actually. So you want to slip that wire up through there and put this there. And now we've got to put all of these screws back in, which have run away in different places. Oh my god. Ah, uh, so wait, hang on. What? Oh, it's the light that's getting in the way. Ha! Ah. Problem solved. I thought something was getting in the way there. And it turns out, I was correct. So this is the new servo. If I can... Screw... Just go away for a second. Stupid bumper. Yeah, stay there. Thank you. That screw in there. Get another screw and put it in right there. This is a hobby grade RC, not a toy grade. So that's the helpful thing. You break it, you can replace it. If you guys want, I can. Soon I'll be doing uploads of me driving this in my 
backyard mud pit. Which would be pretty fun. So that one's tight. This one isn't. So why isn't this getting tighter? Oh, you fell over. Hi. You just saw me, I think. No. I didn't see the camera to see if you did. It's not really getting tighter. I'm going to stop screwing it, otherwise I might take out the thread. Like so. And then that's the long ones. Bumper, so now I need this screw. Now we're going to move you back over here so that my hands don't get in the way of the camera like they were doing earlier and the stupid bumper is getting in my way again. How helpful. Just screw it up. It's tight. Do this one as well. Now before we put it all back together, we are going to test the servo works, which I'm assuming it should, since it's a lot of money. Just really. I think I may. So now we are going to plug it this back in. Make sure all the colours line up. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it will not work. So. Oh, my hands need to get steady. You see? They're lined up. Plug them in. Now. Turn that on. There's a little red light up here. Get the remote. It works! Yes. So now we just need to put these on. Not these, but this. Why well, I say these? Slot on like that. I need a special screwdriver y thing, Bob. Screw it on. My hands are in the way again. Put you over here, maybe you can see that. I don't know because I'm not looking at the phone. I'm gonna try not to get my hands in the way, but I might have to. Right, I'll turn it back on, see if it's still track. Man, that's good. go. Now that's all working perfectly. Turn it back off. So now what we've got to do is put this bumper back on. Now how close in did I have it before? One more hole. Okay. This is why I really like adjustable bumpers. Because they're so easy to work with. Big screw. Goes in. If you want to see a review of this truck, go to Kevin Talbot. Search up. He's got good reviews on this channel. But search up. Um, FTX versus Traxxas and um, his video should come up although his is not the Land Rover body his is the um, what was it it's the 
Toyota FJ40, I think. But he took the bumper off, and there is lights you can put on. I'll show you them. <coughs> yeah, I probably won't. But yeah, he takes bumper off and takes the lights out, and they're just dangling inside the truck. Because you see, these, there's lights, and they do work. Same in the back. Well, it's the exact same place. It's basically the exact same bumper, just about this bit. Which that's it's the exact same. This is one tenth scale, so it is pretty big. Oh, I can't wait for this. I've been down to use this truck for ages, but it broke. I would recommend this server. Well, I don't know. I haven't tried it, but. It's all metal gears, so it's not plastic like the FTX ones. So it should be good. Bumpers on. You see, so now up here. So how do you undo these? Like that. It's got to put them all in the big group again. Reusable clip to cable to. I can't speak today. Reusable cable tie. They are super useful. Like, super. Just like that. Let's put the aerial through. And now you have a fixed truck. So now I'm just going to show you the lights because I'm sure you want to see them. Some wires were not in the way. Ta da! It's the exact same on the back. Only just remove this little plug. Here. That dropped. One little plug there. And boom! Oh, uh, why did this have to fall? Uh, oh, only one screw off. Oh, that's helpful. I thought loads were going to fall out. Oh, guys. I think this will be the end of the video. Subscribe to me and watch some more, I guess. Bye!